250 million year old fossilized larvae found with preserved brain and guts. Every now and again our planet ponies up a fossil so spectacular that almost all you can do is gape and wonder. The scientists have found their, their jaws dropped when they found this. Sometimes those fossils are the magnificent remains that once trod Earth's surface without thunderous feet, with thunderous feet. Sometimes they are more moat, mere moats, little tiny bugs, particles that, that which, which you may not look at twice, but contain within them the secrets of multitudes. Such as a fossil of a sesame seed-sized baby worm discovered encased in rock in China, hailing from the Cambrian period some 250 million years ago, the larva represents a whole new genus and species of urethropod called UT Yuanxi. Such a small speck of rock might be easily overlooked, but this remarkable fossil has been almost perfectly preserved with its internal anatomy intact. And it represents a species ancestral to the anthropods that team all over our planet, today spiders, crabs, and insects. That means it can tell us things about the evolutionary history of these animals that very few fossils can reveal. When I used to daydream about one fossil I'd make sure to discover, I'd always be thinking of an anthropod larva because developmental data are just so central to understanding their evolution, says paleontologist Martin Smith of Durham University in the UK. But larvae are so tiny and fragile, their chances of finding the chances of finding one fossilized are pr practically zero, or so I thought. I already knew that the simple worm-like fossil was something special, but when I saw the amazing structures preserved under its skin, my jaw just dropped. How could these intricate features have avoided decay and still be there to see half a billion years later? The three-dimensional fossil was found in a shale rock known to be particularly rich in fossils, called the Yuan Shan Formation. It was carefully extracted using acetic acid, acetic acid, as we find in lemon, and then subjected to high resolution scanning to image it throughout, and maybe catch a glimpse of whatever lurked within. Although no bigger than just a few millimeters in size, the fossil itself is spectacularly detailed its exterior has a textured skin, heads and leg, and on the inside, X-ray computed tomography reveals its intact internal anatomy. That includes the larva's brain, digestive glands, circulatory system, and nervous system. It's ways interesting to it's always interesting to see what's inside a sample using 3D imaging, says geologist Catherine Dobson of the University of Strathclyde in the UK. But in this incredible tiny larva, natural fossilization has achieved almost perfect preservation. Because the larva is so old, and because it represents a developmental stage in an anthropod's life cycle, rarely seen in ancient fossils, scientists believe that Y. Yanxi can help us learn about the early developments and evolution of this extremely successful phylum of the animal kingdom. The worm itself seems simply simple compared to the uh, complex bodies of arthropods today, but hints of the animals that would later emerge can be seen in its internal anatomy. Its protocerebrum, for instance, the worm's brain region, foreshadows the more complex cranial anatomy that developed as arthropods evolved. In addition, why Yun Shi's circulatory and digestive anatomies can be linked to later developments of arthropod features. This early anatomy, the researchers say, highlights how brilliantly arthropods diversified, developing the ability to specialize a wide range of ecological settings and succeed across the entire globe. Although this single Y Yushandi fossil would be dwarfed in the palm of your hand, its discovery has big implications for our understanding of life on Earth. The research was published in Nature magazine, and it's on Science Alert by Michelle Starr. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I really support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting.
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.